Um, the adrenaline to dopamine ratio in the system is going to be different than in, in the CNS is going to be different than in the genitourinary system. So again, it goes back to that teeter totter analogy. Um, if you are taking whether it's a dopamine agonist or a dopamine antagonist, if one of those is weighing too heavily on that teeter totter and it just happens to get you in the right balance, then you'll have a good response. Yeah, and then we have you can think of things like the bupropion and even you know, ADHD medications, stimulant medications. I've heard stories both ways from patients where they say that you know they had untreated ADHD and then they started on a you know amphetamine uh, compound or a, a Ritalin compound, methylphenidate, mm -hmm. and it was like their libido was switched on and that was the right balance for them. And then I've heard the complete opposite where patients are experiencing ADHD, they get relief of their ADHD symptoms with these medications, but it tanks their libido. And I don't have a perfect explanation for that other than they're perhaps not quite able to get into that parasympathetic state if they've slightly overshot it. Yeah. Like just because you have a, an ADHD brain doesn't mean that your genital urinary system is also ADHD. So there may be a bit of a mismatch there in terms of norepinephrine, thinking of blood flow. Definitely. Um, the adrenaline to dopamine ratio in the system is going to be different than in, in the CNS is going to be different than in the genitourinary system. So again, it goes back to that teeter totter analogy. Um, if you are taking, whether it's a dopamine agonist or a dopamine antagonist, if one of those is weighing too heavily on that teeter totter and it just happens to get you in the right balance, then you'll have a good response. Yeah. And Something that's milder in terms of the potency than some of the stimulant medications is bupropion. So this is the generic Wellbutrin. It's available in a lot of different forms, a instant release, 12 hour, 24 hour release, all sorts of things. Um, I tend to prescribe more of the instant release or 12 hour just because mm -hmm. I don't think that people necessarily need 24 hours of constant dopamine and norepinephrine reuptake. Yep. Uh, but some people do experience better relief of symptoms on the longer acting. Um, and this is actually being repurposed in a, a drug that will potentially be called Lorexis. I, mm -hmm. I believe that's how you say it. It makes me think of the Lorax, for whatever reason, uh, brand recognition, I suppose. Yeah. But it's a combination of bupropion and trazodone, mm -hmm. which trazodone, you tend to think of having the sedative qualities. Yep. Yeah. And then bupropion, you tend to think of having stimulating qualities. So mm -hmm. it's kind of an interesting pair. Yep. Um, Smart providers, when this comes out, are just going to prescribe the generics because the cost and just it makes sense because you can see how many milligrams are going to be in this mm -hmm. thing. Reminds me of Contrave. Yeah. We don't know how many milligrams are going to be in it yet, though. They've done dose finding studies. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it looks to be fairly efficacious because the control that they're looking at here is actually bupropion by itself, which has approaching like a 45, 50% response rate. One of the most commonly prescribed medications for adult ADHD. Yeah. And the very last bullet point there, so sedative adverse effects, somnolence, mm -hmm. fatigue, sedation, reported by most patients, mm -hmm. but never severe. So most to me means greater than 50%. Yeah. I don't know that a lot of people are going to be thrilled to go on something like this, but again, you can slow down the titration whenever this is out or by microdosing, taking up a, a quarter of a tab of trazodone, something like that, mm -hmm. so that you're not getting snowed every time that you take a dose of the trazodone because it is very yep. sedating acutely. Yeah, no, it's a very interesting combo. Um, there's a lot of other molecules that could have been studied in place of it. For example, Sinocian bupropion or the uh, meansirin, um, even mirtazapine instead of trazodone, although mirtazapine is pretty sedating too. Well, once uh, flibercerin is generic, then they'll make it into a combo drug. That, yeah, that's that the too. way it usually goes. Yep, because they want to. They don't want to stack patents. Uh, that's for sure. Um, anyways, I think that's a, a good summary of uh, trazodone of note, and maybe we'll link this. We will link this study. Um, trazodone, uh, commonly known as trazbone, as med students are learning about the side effect of priapism. Mm -hmm.